this is the impression uh, we are going to pour. We are going to focus on the interiors. As we see, we have six uh, preparations there with uh, very nice margins, very defined, very precise, and very sharp. So we're going to focus on those when we pour it. So I have a blade. Uh, I'm going to cut the excess of silicone that part there without obviously touching the uh, the margins and the the um, uh, the preparations I'm going to do it now and I'm going to show in a second why I cut that excess so we want to go very slow we don't want to get too close to the margins okay perfect okay very quick before we pour the impression I would like to uh, explain and show you concretely why I like to cut the silicone. Uh, I have two models, they are prepared, the bases are made, and you see um, from the profile here, the one on your right, I had cut the silicone properly and I had enough brown stone here, so I could keep the base on the same profile. The advantage is we are certain um, to have every part in place, we can visualize and you see, the brown and the white stone, they fit, there is no space, so which is um, you know much easier and much practical um, to work with. Compared to that model here, we didn't uh, cut the silicone, and you see I had to stay away with the base, to stay 3-4 millimeters away from, um, from the brown base, just because we didn't cut the silicone. And now when I'm going to be working on it, I'm never sure to have those parts back in place. We have to try to see it and uh, from the side there, well, I'm really never certain. So, instead of the detail, I think it is important. Uh, it is uh, maybe the responsibility of the dentist or uh, the technician to do, uh, to cut the silicone. I would not uh, suggest for the assistant to do it. So, uh, let's uh, keep going, let's pour the impression. We are going to spray some uh, wetting agent, some debubilizer in order for the stone to really capture every detail inside the impression uh, we need to reduce the surface tension so we, we spread uh, the impression with uh, the little butter there from approximately, you know, I keep it to distance and I don't want to pull too much so just a few times like this and we can um, use the, the little bit of air just remove the excess ready for the pour. And as you see I'm going to prepare the stone. I use a type 4 stone. Uh, a little advertisement maybe for our friends from GC. Uh, I like the Fuji Rock. Um, it is uh, the stone uh, of my choice, the one I've been using for years. He has uh, the right uh, strength, the right hardness and the right expansion and also the right color. We have, uh, that's my two favorite ones. I use the brown uh, they call the pastel, I think, maybe, or the golden brown, yes, golden brown and the white, the pure, pure white. We can mix them or we can use just the brown alone. Usually for um, the, the model work, I use the brown alone. So it is very close from, as you see, it's just a draw underneath my uh, vibrator. So something important once in a while we need to do is go and mix it because using the vibrator every day if once in a while I don't come here and mix the stone a little bit we might change the properties of that stone because some of the components might go all the way down on a bucket and some of the other components might just stay on the surface so if I come with a cup and I just take the surface the stone might be a little bit different so once in a while I come with a dry spatula here you see and we mix it well like this. We need to uh, respect the ratio between the powder and the water. For the Fuji Rock GC, the company is suggesting uh, 100 gram of powder for 20 milliliter of liquid. So I measure my cup. I mean, I check the weight of uh, one cup like this 
of powder. I know it's exactly 50 grams, so we have the half of it. But for that, that type of impression, I'm going to use three scoops, three cups of that uh, stone. So three cups, uh, we need approximately 30, 30 milliliter of uh, water. I use distilled water. I like it a little bit better. It makes a smooth stone, just because there is no um, limestone. So I'm going to go all the way to 30. And just because it's a six, uh, six teeth to focus on, I mean six preparations to focus on, there is nothing bad to go to maybe 31. I add a little bit of 30 and a half, as you see, and I go a little bit over, just to give myself a little more time. So I put the water first, and in any mix, like investment or stone, we always need to put the water first. And then I, I'm going to have to put three cups of water, uh, three cups of stone, two and one more, to be exact, I add a little bit. And we are going to mix it, we pre-mix it by hand, and then obviously we are going to use the vacuum mixer. That's a nice consistency and it's supposed to be thick because it's going to be a little smoother, a little more liquidy after, after the minute underneath the vacuum. So we clean the top, we don't want any stone, we want a perfect seal, perfect vacuum. And we mix it for one minute or a little longer if you want.